It's time for Orchard CMS. A website can be crucial to the success of any modern business. It's an enterprise online brand, attracts interests, helps serve services and products, and can even be used to reach out to a worldwide market. However, for any website to attract visitors and maintain interest, the website aesthetics must be pleasing and attractive. Today, we are going to create an Orchard Core custom theme that attracts interest to a company's service and products. Welcome back. Today we're going to create a custom theme for Orchard Core CMS. As an example, we'll be using the creative theme, which is a Start Bootstrap template. This theme can be found at the website startbootstrap.com. Just like the other bootstrap themes that are currently provided with Orchard Core CMS, the creative theme is a similar template to the blog and agency themes. The creative theme will include a setup recipe that can be used to create a new Orchard Core CMS creative website. Choosing the creative recipe from the list of available setup recipes will set creative as the default theme and pre-populate sample content in the CMS. After developing Orchard CMS themes, using the Razor template language, which is the default template language for ASP.NET, it was an enjoyable experience to use the Liquid template language to create the creative theme. Liquid is a template language created by Shopify for serving dynamic content in their e-commerce websites. Liquid is also an optional template language for creating Orchard Core CMS themes along with Razor. The advantage of using Liquid templates, it is well documented and safe. Let's go to the Start Bootstrap website to download the creative theme. Here we are at the startbootstrap.com slash themes slash creative. So let's go ahead and click on the download. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and start up Visual Studio. Okay, here we are with Visual Studio. Go ahead and create a new ASP.NET Core web application. Hit next. So let's enter my Orchard Core CMS. Okay, and hit create. Let's go ahead and select an empty ASP.NET web application. Hit create. Okay, there we go. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is create a new git.config. So click on the solution, right click, and add new item and let's go ahead and just select a text file and select add and let's go ahead and rename this to nuget.config okay for our contents of nuget.config we're going to add the orchard core preview feed configuration okay let's go ahead and save everything and let's go ahead and exit visual studio and restart it to enable the configuration okay let's select my orchard core cms.solution Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and add an item group. And this will specify a NuGet package, which is the orchardcore.application.cms targets. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. So now let's go to the startup.cs file. And in the method configure services, let's go ahead and add services.addOrchardCMS. Let's scroll down. Now let's go ahead and delete this code, add.useRouting, and also add.useEndpoints. And let's go Go ahead and add app.useOrchardCore. All right, so let's make sure that this works and let's go up here and select my Orchard Core CMS and let's go ahead and hit the green little start triangle. Okay, great, our CMS is working. So let's go ahead and exit. Now let's go ahead and create a project for the creative theme. So let's right click on solution and select add and then new project and let's Let's select classlibrary.net core and hit next. And for the project name, let's use the creative theme. Okay, and let's hit create. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and rename this. Go ahead and select this guy here. Right click and select rename. Click all the options. Let's rename this to startup. Hit apply, apply again. Great, so now we have a startup. So now let's go ahead and Click on the project. Let's go ahead and add Razor support. Add some item groups. So here we're gonna remove any node modules that are being added down here. We're gonna add NuGet packages. And the NuGet packages are orchardcore.themes.target, orchardcore.themes.target, 
dot display management for the UI for Razor and Orchard Core dot resource management dot abstractions for resource management. And then also we'll add some items here for less and gulp files and the index.html and also the package json and the package station lock all right and let's go to the startup file here and for this let's go ahead and specify an orchard themes the creative theme and that's will be a base class will be startup base and then we'll do a configure ice service collection and set that up and and then do an add scoped here and let's go ahead and say that. Okay. And there we go. Let's go ahead and compile that to make sure everything compiles. Okay. Everything's built. Let's go ahead and just comment this out for now until we get our content in there so that everything will build. So another thing we want to do is click on my Orchard Core CMS and then click on dependencies, right click, and then add a reference. Let's add a reference, the creative theme to that. Hit okay. Okay, great. Save everything. What we're going to do is steal from the agency theme. Let's go ahead and take the example from the agency theme. So we'll copy the recipe, the views, asset, manifest, copy that, and just go ahead and paste here. And then we'll go ahead and create a new folder, www root. Okay. So now let's go to our downloads directory and then go to our creative that we downloaded from Start Bootstrap and go ahead and just copy this whole, through that, head back over, and in our www root, let's paste that into there. Okay, great. So one thing we want to do is we'll make a copy of this, right click, and make a copy of that, and let's go up a level, and let's go to our views, and then let's rename this guy to something different, like old liquid. Let's go ahead and paste that index.html and right click and let's go ahead and rename that to layout.liquid. Okay, there we go. So now you can see we go back to Visual Studio and everything's all populated for us. Now just to recap what we did, we copied all of the contents from the creative bootstrap theme to our www root folder here and then we took the index.html removed it from the www root and added it to the view section and renamed it to layout.liquid so you can see here this is our old index.html file okay great so now let's go ahead and click on the agency and let's go ahead rename this file to creative dot recipe dot json and let's go ahead and change the agency name to creative and change the display name to creative and then also change the tag to creative and let's save that and let's go down to our manifest.cs file and let's go ahead and change this creative theme and a theme adapted for creative websites okay great we've got that done and let's go ahead and delete this old the old layout dot liquid all right so now let's go to our layout dot liquid file anytime we see an href or a source we want to rename the path there let's go ahead and search for that let's search for source so control f s r c and here what we're going to do is we're going to do a slash the creative theme slash and let's go ahead and copy that and all the tags href and source we want to do a prefix on that so we'll do there let's go ahead and start up from the top here okay next one paste that paste that next one paste that paste that next one Paste that, paste that, next one, paste that, paste that, next one, paste that, paste that, paste that, paste that, and paste that, and there we go. I think we got them all. Great. We'll go ahead and save it. Now let's head back over to the recipe file which is creative.recipe.json and let's go ahead and scroll down where you're enabling 
and let's go ahead and change this from agency to creative and also for the site we want the creative theme okay great now that we have our theme in place let's go ahead and try it out let's go up and click on the little green play button And there we go. There's our setup page. So let's check out to see if our new recipe is in the recipe combo box. And there it is. There's our creative recipe. Let's go ahead and select that. Now let's hit the finish setup button. And there we go. There's the start bootstrap creative theme. So we can go ahead and click on about. Brings us to the about section. Click on services. Brings us to the services. Click on Portfolio, brings us to the Portfolio, and then click on Contact. Well, that's great. And we can scroll up and look at the different services. To summarize, with the help of Visual Studio, we created an Orchard Core theme, project, and recipe based on the creative template from the website Start bootstrap.com. We stole the files from the Orchard Core agency theme. We renamed the theme files and took the existing index.html file and converted it to a layout liquid template. Once the theme project was complete, we added that project as a reference to our Orchard Core web application. We ran the web application. During the setup, we selected the creative recipe. After pressing the finish setup button, the creative theme was displayed. We pressed on the navigation buttons and demonstrated it was functioning properly. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.